Hey guys, uh, good morning. It's uh, Monday, 7.30 in the morning. And uh, we're just arriving at the Isla Grande Airport right now. You can see the runway right there on the back. Uh, game plan for today. So you and me both, obviously, we're gonna go to La Romana in the Dominican Republic. Uh, La Romana is kind of like the Saint Tropez of Europe in the Dominican Republic and um, we're gonna go there. I still don't know if we should go IFR or not. I still have to do the pre-flight and uh, that's gonna take me a couple minutes and then I can decide whether it's gonna be uh, VFR or IFR. Uh, maybe, just maybe we could be able to depart VFR, pick it up on the air. That shouldn't be a problem or a hassle. Uh, however, what, what do you guys prefer? Do you guys usually go VFR and then pick it up IFR, or you go IFR from the beginning? What's what's your what's your take on this subject? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd be interesting. Uh, I'd be interested in hearing your opinions. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to La Romana. Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna pick up some passengers there. So uh, you guys are gonna stay at a five star all inclusive hotel till I can pick you back up. Okay, uh, that shouldn't be too bad. And um, uh, yeah, that, that's it for now. Uh, if you like this video, please do hit the like button, subscribe uh, to my channel. That will really help me get these videos out there for more aviation enthusiasts that like to see this kind of videos. Oh, today we're flying a super nice plane you haven't seen in a long time. We're flying the Turbo Stationer. That's not 206 Turbo Stationer. Uh, it's been a while since I've flown it, so bear with me if I mess up something. Uh, I'll try to do my best. But uh, it's going to be a treat for you, so uh, enjoy. Click the like button, remember that. That's the first item of the day, kind of checklist. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. So I'll see you after the pre-flight. All right, see you guys. There is absolutely wind right now um, so that's great we'll see if this more if this weather moves on then we'll go VFR if not then we'll go IFR uh, still trying to make up my mind yeah welcome to the Isla Grande Airport TJIG this is where I learned how to fly actually I'm gonna show you where I learned how to fly as Many of you have asked me uh, what fly school I attended to, so I'll show you here in a second. All right, the streets are not very good, but this is where I learned how to fly. This is Isla Grande Flying School. I did my private here. My instrument and commercial, I did it uh, on my own with a CFI. Uh, actually, my CFI owns that Piper Sport right there. 601 Charlie Fox shot. Pretty cool guy. But yeah, this is his like on the flying school. So that's where I did my private. Uh, interesting place to do your flight training. As you can see, they have a couple planes back here. And they, they have a repair center. Um, well, these roads are pretty bad. But yeah, it's the Grand Flying School. That's where I did my
this is a 310 horsepower uh, Continental engine, so we have plenty of power on this plane. A cool feature about the 206 is that it has a massive cargo door on the back, as you can see, it is uh, two doors in one, just like the Bonanza. However, here's an interesting trick. If this handle is down, meaning that the door is a latch, the flaps are not gonna come down. So that's something you wanna verify before you depart. You bring the flaps down and make sure they actually come down because if not, that means that this door might be on latch. So uh, that's, a cool, uh, that's a cool tip for the 206. Other than that, it's just like a regular Cessna with a regular pre-flight. You have your static fans, you have your flaps with the hinges, ailerons, and uh, you have the uh, oil dip stick in here. Everything looks good inside. This plane is maintained pretty nicely. And the uh, car flaps are open. And yeah, I think we're pretty uh, much good to go. Here's your pita tube. I just tested the, the lights and everything looks good. Uh, so let's go. All right, guys, welcome aboard again. Uh, as I said, we were gonna evaluate our options. Uh, it seems to be gloomy. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to uh, leave IFR from the airport, so I'm just gonna pick up that clearance. Uh, let me open up my uh, scratch pad to pick it up. More scratch pad, okay. First things first, let's just... Tower information Bravo time one one five four Zulu full VFR wind one eight zero at four visibility eight miles light rain sky condition three thousand scattered ceiling five thousand five hundred broken temperature two five dew point two three altimeter two nine or nine or seven landing and departing runway nine or expect visual on have approach runway nine or for me sir and good morning flaps up. On the grounds, uh, stationer 246 for Charlie, looking to pick up IFR to La Romana. Stationer 246 for Charlie, is on the ground, but not the, I'm sorry, say again, destination? La Romana, Mike Delta Lima Romeo. Okay, you via, are you stationer 246 for Charlie, are you, you, you uh, ground under clearance, or vice, ready copy? I'm ready copy. Number 6 for Charlie, is clear to La Romana, right here, this Dorado, blue 520, and text is filed on departure, left turn 300. Initial altitude 1,800 feet, expect 8,010. Departure frequency 119.4, squawk 1446. All right, station 246 for Charlie is clear to La Romana Airport via Rida Vector Dorado Blue 520 and text in us file on departure left turn heading 300. Climb and maintain 1,800, expect 8,010 minutes after departure. Frequency is 19.4 and squawking 4, uh, correction 1446, station 246 for Charlie. Number six for Tyree, back to back. Bravo is going ready for taxi. It is Bravo. All right, we have Bravo and we're ready to taxi. We're at the north ramp. Number six for Charlie, we're on taxi via Alpha. Contact on ready. Enter via Alpha, 246 for Charlie. All right, folks, we've got a clearance. We've got our taxi clearance as well. Let's go ahead and taxi over. Pretty much what I set up on the GPS, so we're good to go. Madrid Romeo, Roman Anna, quit touch and go. Wind is coming from the south, so I'm just going to do the run up here as we're pointing out. Bring up the checklist for run up. Let's see if I can break set. Pilot passenger seat lights back to upright. Pilot seat belts and adjust secure. Cabin doors, 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 cabin Instruments, there's no access around. We have our speeds here. Flight plan is set up. Uh, everything looks good. We don't have a flight director on, on this one, so no use of flight director. Altimeter is set. Altimeter on standby. Yep, set. Altitude to select 1,800. That's set. Standby flight instruments are all good. Zero on the airspeed, zero on the altimeter. Uh, the uh, vacuum indicator is good. Fuel quantity, it's good. We Full tanks. Make sure it's rich. Fuel selector on both. Autopilot. Uh, 
We tested it earlier. Flight controls we already tested. Okay. Flight director is off. Elevator runner trim, it's set for takeoff. Throttles, 1800 RPM. Bring that up here. Left magneto shack. That's a good drop. Back to both. Right magneto. That's a good drop. Back to both. Hey, okay, that's good. Propeller control. Let's cycle. All right, we're in control of the governor. BM goes down. Manifold goes up, and all pressure goes down, and there's no oil splatter. That's good. Uh, VAC indicator, da, 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 da. we are good. The vacuum. The indicators are all good. M meter and bolts. Batteries are, uh, the bolts are at uh, 28, sorry, buses are at 28 bolts, both of them. Batteries are charging. Annunciators, there's no alert. He's on the ground, good morning, Archer 1, oh, so Two one three seven Bravo Charlie is on the ground. Archer one three seven Bravo Charlie in from American ramp, ready for taxi westbound departure with Bravo. Two one three seven Bravo Hello, Charlie, runway enter taxi via Bravo, make a left on departure. Taxi already. Thirty five eighty seven tower, nineteen four as departure frequency. Our frequencies are set. Flight plan is set. Transponder is. Set. Under tower nine Papa Delta is Delta Water. Number nine Papa Delta Power Shore. Drink flaps to ten. Uh, we're ready to go. Our takeoff checklist complete. Most important part is uh, seeing my wife, telling her I'm on my way out. I couldn't bring her today. It's a uh, it's a corporate trip, so I couldn't bring her with us today. Uh, Text her. Out. I usually send her the tell number so she, right, so she can track me. Uh, but that's it. Let's. Uh, Let's get this plane rolling. You guys ready? I'm ready as well. Let's go. Is the Grand Tower is Sky uh, Stationer two four six for Charlie's ready for departure. Stationer two four six for Charlie's in the tower. Hold short nine or five fire lease. Holding short nine or two four six for Charlie. Let's uh, wait for the IFR clearance. So he's basically talking to a approach control right now or departure control, if you want to call it that way, and uh, he's getting a he's getting a slot for me to go into the airspace. Uh, into the airspace IFR, so uh, let's just wait for that and then we should be good to go. Oh, you know we haven't gotten the takeoff clearance yet because you guys haven't liked the video and subscribed to my channel, so go ahead and do that and we're gonna get the takeoff clearance, okay? Okay, number right. 3A Romeo, square your base. I'm gonna have a stationary departing ahead of you. There you go, that's what you go in the base. Uh, the three hit the like button. He's, he's already. Uh, sending traffic off to let us depart. So, once this helicopter, he's right above us. Oh, that's a police. That's a police helicopter. Once he goes by, we're gonna be clear for takeoff. There he is. Station air two four six four Charlie. Turn left, heading three zero zero. You can climb all the way up to eight thousand. Roman Anderson, clear for takeoff. All right, all the way up to the eight thousand, heading three zero zero, and Roman Anderson, clear for takeoff. Station air two four six four Charlie. Thank you very much. All right, we're clear. Landing taxi lights, strobes are on, nav beacon, everything is good. Clear right, clear left. We have 10 degrees of flight. If mixture is full rich, if something happens after liftoff, we're gonna ditch the lagoon, and our safe return point is a thousand feet. All right, there we go. Lining up on runway nine. Here on the tower, two three Romeo, please confirm landing clearance. Number three, Romeo, that's affirmative. Roman Anner, clear for the option. Your traffic is right. departure roll, station air. Uh, Roman three, Anner, Roman. Uh, Let's go. Clear for the Flying full power, making sure that turbo kicks in. And uh, there it is. There it is, beautiful. Engines are all in the green. On theater, spirits is alive on both sides. 50. 60, let's go. And we are airborne. Beautiful.
departure. A little crabbing angle for the uh, for the crosswind. 1885 knots, give and take five knots. 400 feet. I'm going to bring flaps to zero, flaps up. I'm going to start my left turn, heading three zero zero. There it is. The ring power back a little bit. That uh, was a thousand to go. Let's bring it up to eight thousand. Let's bring the RPM back. Twenty-four. Twenty-four and thirty on the manifold right now. And there we go. What a nice view. Departure 4126 uniforms on the tower, 100 feet for takeoff, break, station at Rodeo Charlie, stand on departure 194. 194, take care, have a good day, uh, 246 for Charlie. Six uniforms. Stand on departure, station at 246 for Charlie, climbing out of 1500, heading 300, climbing 8000. 164 Charlie, Shell 1 departure, road of contact, climbing 8000. Climbing 8000, 246 for Shelly. Alright guys, it's uh, we're getting into IMC now, so... Eyes on the instruments. Number six four Charlie, flight in two eight zero. Heading two eight zero two four six for Charlie. Here's the heading bug two eight zero. Okay, autopilot has it. Um, I'm not too fan of this autopilot, so uh, I'm just gonna keep a track of everything that it's doing. Landing and tax lights are off. We are into some rain right now. This is hardcore IFR technically. I mean, you're not you're not seeing anything at the window. You're flying by instruments. You got to make sure your heading is good. Your altitude is good. Your attitude is good. Climbing to the 4,000, about 600 feet, of, and at your this is very important. Your airspeed is very important on the climb because you you're not having that much forward energy to maintain a, a positive AOA. So you want to make sure your airspeed. Is in a is in a positive number, uh, and that you're not going to get close to a stall condition while you're climbing out on IMC because you're relying on your instruments. You're not relying on outside cues to see whether your nose is up or down or left or right. So there's been many accidents. There, there, I think there was actually a Pilatus accident that happened because um, actually well, it wasn't a Pilatus. I think it was something else. It was actually climbing on IMC conditions, I, and uh, by the way, IMC means instruments, meteorological condition, and uh, they stole the plane. Contact Saint Thomas, they stole the plane because they didn't take a look at their airspeed, and so the plane stalled. And uh, it's pretty difficult to to figure out what to do when the plane is stalling and you're in IMC. You you have to have really good training to be able to cope with that. It's getting a little cold here. I'm just gonna actually. Opening it up. Let's close this a little bit. Uh, so yeah, when, whenever you're flying IFR, you want to keep an eye out on your instruments. Charlie, six for Charlie, clear the right boarding again. There we go. Two for six for Charlie. Thank you very much. E one zero one seven one departure road contact pass on the Louis Air Bravo Mount Zulu navigation. Hi, boarding and activate and let's go nav mode of the autopilot. Cable sixteen thirty eight to one two thousand from Ramsey maintain two thousand to the salvage your localizer uh, cleared ILS runway one zero approach. Yep, that's what it's right. maintain two thousand till established cleared ILS one zero approach. Right. Jet blue sixteen thirty eight. Um, let's see. Coming out of five thousand two hundred, temperatures they look good. Airspeed is a hundred and three hundred and three knots right now. Outside air temperature is sixteen degrees Celsius. Uh, so it's getting a little cold. Obviously, for those of you in the northeast right now, or 
not even the North, he's just in the United States or Canada or Northern Europe and Asia. It's very freezing right now over there. <laughs> I see some light shining through. I guess we're getting a little... I can see land down there, but we'll we're still pretty much I see because I don't see a horizon. Nothing to base my attitude from, so... Uh, it was 1638, contact San Juan Tower, 132.05. We're still climbing. 3205, jump to 1638. Cool thing about the turbos is that I can leave my power in. Two I don't have to for Lima, San Juan. Like a general aspirated, normally aspirated aircraft, where you, as soon as you start climbing, you have to throttle in, 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 in. Maintain your manifold pressure. This one, no, I just leave the turtle on the manifold, uh, manifold setting, an RPM setting. And it's gonna keep the manifold all the way up to cruise altitude. I believe, I might be wrong on this one, but I believe the service ceiling on this plane is uh, 24,000 feet. I might be wrong, I, I might be wrong though. Uh, yeah, it will keep the manifold pressure all the way to uh, service ceiling altitude. All right, look at that. We are in cruise and uh, looks pretty out there. Yeah, let me talk to you a little bit about La Romana. So, La Romana is a, a town just east of Santo Domingo, oh, Santo Domingo, sorry. Uh, this uh, squirrels is a little bit too uh, picky. Um, and west of Punta Cana, it's actually about 160, 180 miles from San Juan. So it's a nice, short, one hour trip, maybe hour 10, if you account for a climb and descent. Uh, and uh, there's there's a nice place in La Romana called Casa de Campo, uh, which is a luxury resort and villa complex just south of the airport, and uh, that's where the rich and famous go uh, to vacation in the Dominican Republic for the most part. Uh, they have a very nice amph amphitheater uh, built a long time ago where artists will do their concerts at. I was fortunate enough to watch the uh, Elton John concert over there, but I know there's a lot of artists that go there all the time. Uh, have you been there? Uh, I know there's many people that go to La Romana when they, there's a concert there because the venue is just gorgeous, it's amazing. Uh, and a lot of people fly there from uh, from the States just, uh, just to take a look at it. Uh, so let me know if you've been there. I'm, I'm interested in knowing. Uh, other than that, uh, let's see, we're estimating to be there in about, let's see, uh, do, 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 uh, uh, this is not cumulative, but by 1358, and it's currently 55, so about an hour. Uh, or, yeah, we've been flying for about 10 minutes now, so that's going to be like an hour, 10 minutes. So uh, I'll see you uh, when we start descending. Set up the RNAV runway 1-1. Uh, I'm gonna do the chart on post processing on edit. And uh, we're descending about 400 feet a minute. Uh, we should be there in about a 
about 15 minutes or so. Uh, weather in La Romana is nice. We're going to go through some clouds as we descend, so it's going to get a little bumpy. However, uh, uh, the game plan for today is try to make it in on a visual approach. Do a short approach into runway 11 and uh, call it a day for now. Anyway, thank you for joining me today on this trip. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll show you all I can about La Romana as we approach. And uh, yep, we're going down. Also, please do bear in mind uh, me speaking Spanish with the uh, controller. I'll try to brief you on whatever she tells me and I tell her uh, as, as we approach uh, the airport. Uh, as you know from my previous videos, whenever, whenever you're going to a country, of, uh, to a foreign destination, you're allowed to speak that country's language on the radio and English. And La Romana 246 for Charlie uh, requesting left deviation for build-up. Remember 246 for Charlie, any deviation is approved and when able direct to MUPO. Hey, right, any deviation approved when able direct to MUPO, 246 for Charlie. Okay, let's, uh, let's go a little bit to the left here. I don't like the way it's just looking. Maybe heading 260 will work. There we go. Uh, those those buildups, you don't you do not want to go inside those buildups. Those uh, towering cumulus and those can be pretty bad, even at 6,000 feet. Control Santo Domingo, 809 Charlie Victor. I can see here for the Domingo, please. Confirm, I'm authorized to claim. NAF 30, Barahona. Approvado como solicitado directo a Clemo. Y autorizada la aproximación a NAP, pista 3-0. Recibido, Chus Aranaya. Do you guys think, should we uh, try and get a visual approach into La Romana? Recibido, pendiente para cambiar. I think that would be a good Recibido, option. Recibido, Chus Aranaya, Charlie. Because uh, I can see the airport from here, so... Uh, do you want to do it? Visual approach? Short approach? That's it. And Santa Domingo Center, 246 Rochelle. We have La Romana in sight. Any chance we can uh, do the visual approach? November 246 Charlie, clear for the visual, runway to 1 1. Clear for the visual 1 1, we're going to be entering on the uh, right downwind for runway 246 for Charlie. Clear for the left downwind? Right downwind 246 for Charlie. Right it. Alright, we got it, so down to 1,000 feet. November 246 for Charlie, Kentuck Romana Tower in 118, this one 6. 18 6, you have a wonderful day, 246 for Charlie, see ya. Great. Santo Domingo, go ahead. Right. Back to center. Uh, number 2464, Charlie, go ahead. Uh, can you verify La Romana Tower's frequency? There seems to be music playing on the background. It's 118 decimal 6. Yeah, that's what it is, and there's, uh, there's loud music playing on the background. Where are you at? Uh, let me close the tower to... Copy, thanks. November 2464, Charlie, uh, try again in 118, this almost 6. It's no joint, uh, come back to this frequency. Alright, we'll go 246 for Charlie. La Romana Tower, good morning, November 246 for Charlie, right down in 111. November 2464, Charlie, La Romana Tower, Roger, continue approach, runway 11, wind 180 degrees, 4 knots, QNH to Niner, 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 report of the Tower. Alright, we'll call the Avinda Tower, and uh, are you listening to music on the background, uh, on the frequency? Now we have information and we are working on that, thank you. Alright, thanks very much, 246 Rochelle. Well guys, uh, I guess it is what it is, there's music in the background, there's nothing we can do about it. We just sing. Um, there's the airport right here, 11 o'clock, actually 1 o'clock, sorry about that.
646 or Charlie South of the Tower. November 2464 Charlie, runway 11 clear to land, expect packet via Alpha 1. Hey, right, 11 clear to land, we'll expect Alpha 1, 246 for Charlie, thanks. Okay, landing lights are on, Let's ring the power back a little bit, ring props in, and flaps 10 degrees. Turning base here, we're going to do a short approach. Seems like the music is fading as, uh, as we get lower and lower, so that's probably what it is. Alright, call flaps open, flaps 20. There's the runway. Flaps full down. Starting final. All right, it's leaving pattern. 700 feet descending. Runway's made. Minimums. Minimums. Yep. Flaps are down. Gears down through green, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you, you got to make sure when you fly a uh, complex aircraft, your, your gear is down. This one is not by any means, but it's just get used to it. 70 knots on approach, we're, we're doing fine. A little bit of power in to uh, a rest of the descent. Wind is from the right. There's a crosswind. You can see my crosswind angle right there. And uh, that means we're going to put right rudder in, uh, rudder and right aileron. There we go, coming up. Okay, left rudder, right elevator. Into the runway. There's a stall horn, and there we go on the ground. Not the smoothest, but hey, and win them all. Keeping that crosswind correction all the way in. There, that's very important. Doesn't matter what plane you're flying, unless it's a helicopter, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Let's open this window, get some airflow inside. Officer, November 2464, Charlie, by Alpha 1 to GA, welcome back. All right, Alpha 1 to General Aviation, 246 for Charlie, what do you? Right, we clear the runway, landing lights are off, strobes are off, only beacon tax and have like. All right, folks, welcome to La Romana. Uh, it's a gorgeous day out here today. There's some uh, corporate jets on the ramp. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shamir for Sovi because I post a lot of content that I'm pretty sure you guys are going to like on Instagram, mainly the day-to-day -day life of a pilot. So go ahead to Instagram, link is down on the description below, uh, look it up, follow me, uh, send me a message, I'll, I'll reply back to you as soon as I'm on the ground, most likely. And... Uh, all right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining, and I hope you enjoy your stay in La Romana. Gonna put you guys up in the five-star luxury hotel around here. A couple golf streams in here, wow. All right, I see the marshaller. All right, we're here. Parking brakes are set. Tax light is off. Let's give it a minute or two for the turbos to cool down. And uh, I'll see you guys next time, okay? Enjoy, guys. Thanks for watching.